Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do weed killing on my patio with one really great ingredient which is table salt. Now this is a natural way to combat your weeds and there's no harsh chemicals involved. Your pets are even fine running around on the patio afterwards. It's just a great little trick to keep the weeds off your patio and paths. As you can see, the patio is getting really weedy. There's just weeds popping up everywhere. So I'm just gonna show you what I do. Now this is, method's really good for patios. You don't wanna be using this on your flower beds because it does change the soil and make an environment where weeds and other plants don't want to grow. So really all you need to do, this table salt I got from Tesco, as you can tell, it's 35p a tub. Now there's 750 grams in here. I use the tubs rather than a bag because you've got this easy pourer, which really helps, especially if you're doing cracks in patios. So literally what we're going to do is just pour it on along the cracks. By dehydrating the weeds and um, you leave it for a few days and you'll see it'll just all start to discolour where it's took all the moisture out of the plant. So I'm just going to carry on doing the rest of my patio. A bit more on the harsher weeds I just sprinkle it over. There you go, you don't want it too close to your flower beds. There you go, it's brilliant for your paths. So there you go, I'm just going to leave it like that for a couple of days. I'll show you tomorrow how it's looking and then every day until it's totally gone brown. There's also another area I did the other day and that's the difference. As you can see, a bit I haven't done and the area I have done. Now, after a while, um, the weeds will just stop growing through the area because it'll just be too salty. It just won't be a nice environment for plants to grow in. So really it kind of combats it, especially on paths and patios where you really don't want any growth to come back again. After a few years or so, it'll, it'll just stop growing. So. It's actually a really good, cheap way to get rid of your weeds and it's natural. It doesn't hurt the environment and there's no chemicals. And for all of that, I've just used one tub. So I have another three to go. Quick update, uh, about oh, six hours after I've put the salt down, it has started raining, so we'll just see how it goes after it's had a bit of rain. Shouldn't make a massive difference, but we'll just see how that goes. Right, it's day two and it is still raining, so probably should have checked the weather before I did this with the weeding. But it is starting to look slightly yellower, the plants are. So I'm hoping it is doing its job. Right, we've had lots of water here, as you can tell. It's been raining like non-stop for absolute ages. I'm still on the second day and um, you can see how much water there. Everything's actually under the water. But it does seem to actually still be working. As you can tell, it's going yellow. That section I haven't done there and that section I have. So even though we have had ridiculous amounts of rain, it still seems to be doing the job. Right, because it's rained so much, I'm literally just going to dust over, finally, some of the areas where it's really, really washed it away. Um, you can see it's actually working because it does look a lot, a lot yellower in colour than the other areas that I haven't done. But I am just literally going over these little bits because it all washed away. So there we go. And this is the end of day two. It's now day three, and you can see how it's working on that weed there. 
and some of the other weeds. I'll show you a section, there you go, that I've done and that section I haven't. So you can kind of see the difference between those two. And that one I haven't done and that one I have done. So it's day three and that's how the weeds are looking. It's now day four and as you can see the thistle is looking worse for wear. So it works well on the thistles. And here we are on the other side where I showed you before. That's the bit I haven't done. There we go. And this is the section that I have done. And if I come up further, you can really see the difference from the bits I haven't done to the bits I have done. So that's day four. Day five. And you can see now that really most of the weeds have actually died off. They're, they're done. And um, again, you can see the bit I have done and the bit I haven't done. And then I'll also show you some other things. Closer up. There you go. They've sort of, we haven't had any more rain. So everything is dry and it's really helped to dry them up. There we go. The grass has been the most resistant or which has taken the longest to die off, but it is actually now really dying off. There we go. And then I'll show you over here. And again here, you can sort of see bits I haven't done to bits I have done. It's quite a difference. And over here, see how it all looks very dead now and over here that was the bit I hadn't done before and showed you the bit I had done and then now that's kind of caught up you can sort of see that isn't as far on as the, the piece I did last week but there we go it's now starting to all look the same so there we go Hope you've enjoyed my video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more DIYs. Thanks for watching.